and here is why. Probably for good reason. This was just brilliant. Uh, the two points which came in quick succession came because of uh, some relentless aggression from uh, the little Manipuri. Just uh, forcing this one to be retied. A rather unexpected obstacle. But yeah. she won't be unduly bothered. Six uh, nails, so uh, not too much danger of losing that momentum here. No, and she probably has uh, an extra small custom fit uh, headgear made for her. The first one uh, gold at the National uh, Women's Boxing Championship way back in 2001. And has been pretty much on a roll ever since. She's on a roll in this round as well, uh, now bringing it up to four points just for this round alone. Yeah, her opponent Ping did land a couple of punches, but just not enough power or weight behind them to score points. And instead, Mary Com obviously winning a point on the counterattack. There you go. Gets the right hook there. <laughs> Young Ping is uh, just starting off with a career, and this will uh, prove to be a serious uh, education for her. A very good experience of coming up against a very, very experienced and uh, very accomplished uh, boxer. Boxing, of course, uh, varied from uh, men's boxing in that the net amount of time that they spend inside the ring is less, but there's uh, one round more, isn't there? Right, so it looks like they're playing four rounds of two minutes each versus three rounds of three minutes. It probably gives a little more rest in between. What it uh, does allow them is... Uh, smaller bouts of a uh, little bit more aggression so they can uh, focus more on attack as opposed to uh, men's boxing where we've often seen that the winner does have to uh, ration out his energy quite nicely he has to mix caution with aggression but women's boxing definitely looking like a lot more aggressive sport if you've uh, noticed both uh, both girls have been going quite hard at their opponents right from the word go yeah, with, with just two minutes. Uh, there you go. That's exactly what Devan was talking about. Because uh, in men's boxing, you do see many a times the referee set stepping in to to urge the boxers to to continue to box because you cannot be defensive or evasive too too far, too long. Whereas I don't think uh, that's an issue here in women's boxing. There's a point. <laughs> Loud cheers and an impish smile from Mericom as well. Acknowledging uh, the fact that uh, Ping has pinged her first point here. <laughs> She's obviously uh, not at 100% uh, overall, uh, pretty heavy strapping on her left knee. So she'll have to watch out in, in what terms she wants to uh, use her energies through these uh, next three rounds, including uh, assuming that she reaches the final here. Yeah, that's right. I think once she, she got past the first two minutes, I think she, would, she was in a comfortable enough position that Obviously, she still wants to focus on the bout, but then she can look at the larger picture. You don't want to look at too large a picture. You still want to be focused. We saw what happened to the Chinese Taipei archers yesterday, just celebrating a little too early against 
India in the bronze medal playoff. Uh, but I think Maricom is, is clearly home. And boxing is also a sport where probably the sport doesn't let you <laughs> to, to, to take a break or a breather. Yet again, some good boxing there by Ping. What she did exceedingly well there was first to evade Maricom's uh, left hook and then to move in and uh, get in a right hook of her own. So a comfortable enough lead in terms of points, nine points, but a much uh, better performance, 3-2 in this third period. Yeah, very gentlemanly or ladylike sportsmanship, should we say. Uh, very respectful. America, it's nice to see her smile after getting one in the in the face there. Clearly in control of this game. And on the verge of becoming the first secure medalist in boxing at the Asia. Well, of course, we did hear from uh, her earlier and uh, she did uh, speak about the fact that there is pressure on her. There is a pressure of expectations. Uh, that can sometimes be a little bit of a hindrance, although in many respects, you can also use it to spur yourself on. That's right, and, and I think in, in Indian sport you always have that um, challenge or risk because uh, gold medals at the Asian and the Olympics are, are just so hard for f to come by that you know, any real gold medal hope is, is going to be mounted a lot of pressure. It's, it just goes with, with the turf. We have been uh, hypothesizing about how she'll approach this uh, fourth period, but MC Marycom is definitely not pulling any punches here. And also creditably for uh, Ping Meng Che, nor is uh, the little girl from Taipei. Just looking at her demeanor at the moment, uh, the girl from Taipei, you wouldn't look at the score and uh, think that uh, it's as one-sided as it is. Yeah, she clearly has the the structure or the height and, and weight advantage. Just uh, obviously that goes to show how important technique is in boxing as well. Uh, you need to have the technique and the speed. And only when that's equal, I guess, your, your height or reach or weight comes into play. Uh, this has been uh, some excellent boxing in this uh, fourth period from uh, MC Maricom. Got her opponent on the hop and also lodging points with alarming regularity. Look at that, one more for her. Yeah, I think Maricom is pretty much scoring at will. I think if she gets another big one, the referee might uh, want to step in, given that Ping has taken a little bit so far. The last 15 seconds here for MC Maricom uh, for her to confirm her place in the semi-finals and uh, thus also assure herself of at least a bronze medal at these Asian Games. That'll do. So a little bit of history and a little bit of sportsmanship from uh, both MC Maricom as well as uh, Ping Meng Chie. They're going through really comfortably there. Maricom, the first woman to win a medal at boxing at the Asian. Ping Meng Chie will uh, look back at this uh, particular bout and just rue the fact that she started so poorly. She gave uh, away an eight-point lead as early as uh, the second period. But from then on, uh, it was a lot closer. So perhaps just taking her a uh, little time to start up and uh, that, that just uh, cost her in the end. But full credit to Mericom, of course, for pacing herself very well. Yeah, and I think Mericom was, was definitely far, far ahead of her opponent. There's no doubt the only chance to your your point, Devan, was that if uh, Ping had just uh, taken a quick lead up front in the first round just to keep the nerves, but once that was not the inevitable, clearly coming through. Well, she's a popular champion, uh, well-respected and loved by her opponents as well, and uh, that's a uh, very...